Living on the coast is about people, places and their passions. Combine all those and it's a, it's a pleasure, it's my honour to be here. I was amazed, I had no idea it was as big as it was. We just seem to forget the importance of our own backyard. The shark nets cover around about 2%. He's loving that. It is impressive, I think so. I guess my passion to drive tourism oh, to greater wow. heights. Come on kids, I've got more! I'm buggered. G'day guys, I'm Adam and today we're going to be making a banana and honey crepe with chocolate sauce. We'll be using chocolate sauce, butter, honey, bananas, strawberries for garnish and of course our crepe mixture which is just flour, eggs, milk, whisked together to a nice batter. In a lot of restaurants chefs like to take their little portable stoves like so out into the dining room and make the crepes in front of the customers but I've got no customers today, so I've come down to the river. So we're going to do it here. <laughs> it's my day off. So we heat our crepe pan up, just do a little bit of olive oil in there. Swirl it around, let it heat up. Give our batter one more mix. And pour our mixture into the pan. Should take about a minute each side for the crepe to heat and cook. On a busy night, you could sell anywhere between one and 20 crepes. They are a bit old school, but they do sell well. Okay, now the crepe's cooked. I've just cooked it to a really light brown. You don't want it too colored. And we'll just fold it in a little cone formation, put them on the plate. And now we're going to prepare our bananas and sauce. We start off, peel our banana, chop him up. Now who remembers when bananas were over $25 a kilo? I know I do. We had to take them off the menu because to make money we'd have to charge main meal prices for a dessert. But now they're back down to under $2 a kilo. Great value, so let's go for it. So we add a tablespoon of butter to our pan. Be sure to use unsalted butter as we are making a sweet dessert. I used to work with a chef who used salted butter. Dessert was way too salty. Introduce him to unsalted butter, makes the dessert much more palatable. Now we add a drizzle of honey. Our bananas. You don't want to cook the honey too long as it will burn. So just cook it for about two minutes at the very most. Now the bananas are done, let's put them on top of our crepe with a generous amount of sauce. Cut up a couple strawberries just for garnish. Just fan them. Place on top of the crepe. Then we grab our chocolate sauce just to finish and drizzle over the top. And there you have it, banana honey crepes. I'm gonna take it home to my girlfriend Leah. I'll grab some cream on the way home. Beautiful. That's all I've got time for today, so I'll see you next week in the kitchen. <laughs>